three videos ago, I didn't have any hair. So it turns out I'm still enjoying a lot of things. Still enjoying leadership images. I'm enjoying YouTube communities crystallizing into Discord servers. Singing is coming up soon. Editing video game DVDs. I'm doing some physical photography things. I'm still doing the daily journal thing and listening to podcasts. I took a podcast workshop for a while and we're doing some Project Chronicle stuff with some friends. So there's lots of stuff going on. I'm good. It's going well. I think it's a really good thing when I'm trying to find something to talk about and I'm enjoying so much that it's a little bit of a challenge to pick something. The thing Thing right now that I'm most excited about that has more of a theme today is just the entire experience of life's library on Discord. They just did a Q&A recently with the founders of Partners in Health and the actual doctor. Don't think the author was at the Q&A. I think it was just the co-founders of Partners in Health and then Dr. Farmer. I think they said their estimation of members for life's library Discord right now, which is like the Nerdfighter Discord book, giant book club, was five, around 5,000 members on there. It's just really cool. When I was in high school, for the last two years of high school, I ran philosophy club and book club. And my teacher at the time gave me this, uh, this book plus Nancy Pearl journal. The last Life's Library book that I read, Stories of Your Life and Others, that filled it. So this is full. So I've read a lot of books in my life, but I haven't like read and reflected on a lot of books in my life, but it started with the Divergent series by Veronica Roth on July 27, 2012. So that was seven years ago. All right, so I'm going to say that the total amount of books probably summarized in here is probably close to six dozen books total. I got another one of the same mod. This is the old one. And this is the new one. It's a, it's a little bit less dull. It's a little more reflective, but there you go. Nancy Pearl says her number two regret is that she never kept track of the books that she read. Some series of adventures that we take or books that we read are so large that we'll never have time to go back and reread them all over again. What treasures have I lost track of? All for the want of a notebook and the self-discipline to write it down. Be responsible for your own self-discipline. Because I've been able to journal for almost six years straight a daily page and still maintain this idea of a journal for experiences is really a power behind being able to document things so that we can rehearse important things that we want to remember. Seth Godin is somebody on marketing that I follow a lot and I've been following his blog for the past few years so a lot of my entries are just littered with his references and lessons as I've applied them to what I've learned and his blog today is perfect for this, perfect for the idea of journaling and remembering. It's called Memories of Memories. Memories of Memories is most of what we have right? Because we can't remember everything that happens in the past. We don't actually remember much of what happens. We get what we've rehearsed over and over again. If we fail to rehearse, the memory will fade. And he talks about the idea of memory serving us well. Like, why would we rehearse something that doesn't serve us well, that doesn't make something better for us? I guess it comes down to this whole idea of us choosing to be who we want to be, also becoming what we endure. Choosing what we rehearse is a way of choosing who we will become, right? The habits we'll set in place, the dances we choose, what we choose to create. I want to choose important memories that serve me in remembering things. That's what the whole purpose of the journaling is for. Life's library just makes me think about how the things I'm most proud of creating are individual accomplishments, of course, but they're usually planting of seeds that have fostered different things that are larger than myself, efforts to go to things bigger than me, where I've played a pivotal part collaboratively in an endeavor where something can exist outside of me with the help of many people. And that's what life's library feels like. To think about how I'm reading a book that thousands of other people are reading at about the same time and discussing and learning from is really cool. I experienced a scale of that in high school and book club and the conversations there are just as important. Being able to read a book and then discuss it with thousands of people or just the library shelf that I'm on in addition to getting to actually see the work that Nerfiteria and John and a lot of people are doing with Partners in Health right now. That's what I'm enjoying right now. My question for you with the whole topic of reading and books and journaling and rehearsing is how do you save stuff? What do you choose to remember and store and do you do it for reading? Do you do it for something else? Um, what are you reading right now? What are you collaboratively doing? It's cool to saddle back up on the horse of revamping the NFI community a little bit and starting conversations and just creating important conversations and talking about things and learning from one another, committing myself to something larger than myself, like taking care of myself so I can prioritize 
also doing remarkable things with people is one of the best reasons to take care of yourself, right? And then the last thing I'll share with you is this Nancy Pearl quote. I remember reading this when I was a senior in high school. Such a full circle moment. Whenever I begin reading a new book, I'm embarking on a new uncharted journey with an unmarked destination. I never know where a particular book will take me toward what other books I will be led. That's that's life, engaging with uncertainty and taking a step forward. There's always a degree of uncertainty to that. I guess what matters most to me is engaging and stepping forward in a way that I'm proud of it. I'm excited to do more and enjoy more. Thanks for watching. Keep being you. Don't forget to be awesome. And there's nobody set for the video after this, so if nothing happens between now and Saturday, Tim will see you on Saturday. And see you in the next video after this if nobody uploads. That's how time works. Create and engage well and enjoy.